Danny, I can't help but feel thankful for our story and the long, unconventional road that has brought us here today. Every decision, every lesson that we've endured as a couple, but most importantly as individuals, has led us to this exact moment and it has made one thing clear to me. It's you and it's always been you. Standing up here with you today feels like a dream. It was so many years ago that night we ran into each other and as usual, I was too nervous to talk to you. We had already known each other for quite some time and we would see each other every so often, but that night it was different. I could feel it in the air, the energy between us was different, and I somehow managed to be able to muster up the courage after a few drinks to come and talk to you. We talked for a while and out of nowhere you grabbed me by the hand and said one day we will get married. Now was the time I should have learned a very valuable lesson that day, and that is I should really, really learn to listen to you. <laughs> well, I can't promise you the perfect life or that I'll be the perfect partner. I can promise to love you through the good times and the bad with all that I have to give and all that I feel inside the only way I know how, completely and forever. Jean, there is a light that shines for you and I and it is a light that will never go out. As a symbol of my love. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Danny, will you please place the ring on Jean's hand and repeat after me. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. With this ring, with this I, thee ring wed. I thee wed. Danny and Jean, having witnessed your vows and by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife you may kiss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Mr. and Mrs. Papillo. In a sense, though, this speech has been writing itself for the last 15 years. I remember one night we were goofing around out front of a restaurant. Danny was being his regular self, doing some sort of impersonation or cracking some kind of joke. It wasn't five minutes later, we hadn't even left the parking lot, when Danny got a text from the girl he was seeing at the time that they couldn't continue to see each other. The girl's parents had been inside the lobby of the restaurant and they had recognized Danny as that boy who was seeing their dog. It should go without saying that Danny is still very much that same joker, and all of us here today love him. Maybe even Gene does too. Originally, I was going to talk about Gene, Danny, love, and their relationship. But then I decided to stick to a subject I know best, just Gene. Sorry, Danny. <laughs> But I do know you're the funniest person she's ever met. You guys are a perfect complement to each other. It doesn't surprise me that Jean would have that much love around her. She's the most loyal person I've ever met. She really is the person that would do anything and go anywhere for her friends. Maybe not on time, but she'll be there. And even though it's our song, thank you Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> I know a lot of people in this room are saying the same thing tonight. Cheers, Jean. Our lives would suck without you. <laughs> so you guys, Danny and I really, really, truly appreciate how much time, effort, and in a lot of cases, travel it took for you to be here. Um, this room is full of people who have shaped who we are as individuals and as a couple and we're forever grateful for the love, memories, opportunities, and wisdom that you've all collectively shared with us. 
me see your phone. You deleted my part. No, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just gonna. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>